Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support. And I'm in CorelDRAW. This is X4. But this will work with all your versions of CorelDRAW. And what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how to use your group and ungroup um, feature in Corel. Now this feature, if you're a beginner or you know, if you're just getting into Corel, this is probably something that this is a video that will you know, be beneficial. If you're a CorelDRAW user, um, you know, most most of you might know about how to group and ungroup. It's a very basic feature in CorelDRAW, but it's if you don't know about it, um, you know, you need to know about it. So that's why I'm giving the video instruction on how to use it and how, you know, the best ways to utilize that feature. Now I've just created four objects on the page. Now I can individually select these objects all day long. They're not grouped at this point. I can move them. I can place them anywhere I want. But sometimes, you know, when you have an image or you've created something or somebody has sent you something and you want to change it up a little bit, um, sometimes that image or that, you know, vector image, should I say, um, it's going to be grouped. And the reason people group it is they finish creating a particular graphic and they want to keep all those individual units together so they may have drawn a hat and then they may have later drawn uh, you know a sh some shoes and then maybe put some shoestrings on it all those things are individually drawn out in Corel and once they finish and they put all the details within that for instance uh, hat or shoe or you know if they're creating this uh, cartoon or this figure then they'll probably group it so that when they click on it they drag the whole thing and not just the shoestring for instance so a lot of vector images are grouped and uh, to group something you can one you can select each, each individual item by holding your shift key and then clicking your left mouse to grab all of them now I've grabbed every object on this document and I can move it around as long as that bounding box is around it I can move it around freely by holding my left mouse key and just dragging it okay now if I want to release one thing I can hold my shift key again and let's uh, release the star now all I have is I have the three objects and not the star so holding your shift key and clicking each individual object will grab those in, you know those individual items as you click them so clicking off of that now everything's released you know I can move again freely each object so if I want to grab all the objects using my hotkey on my keyboard which I think is easier if I just want to grab everything on the page I'll do a control A and that grabs everything on the document so now I can move everything just by clicking control A and it grabs everything on the document if I want to release one item or one object I can hold my shift key and click on that object which I clicked on the circle so now when I move it the only thing I'm gonna move is everything but the circle so you see how that works okay now that has not grouped it yet but that demonstrates how to grab particular items within your image so that you can group those particular items and still leave something out if you want so now to group it okay so if I want to group these items let's say I'm done with my graphic and I'm ready you know I'm ready to just freeze everything or freeze particular things together so that when I come back to it you know I'm not when I click on it it grabs everything and moves it and it doesn't separate so to do that I'm gonna do a control A then I can come over here and right click somewhere within my bounding box and then left click on group now what does that do for me now I can click outside of the bounding box releasing now when I come back to it every time I grab everything so you see how that works now I've grabbed everything those items stay together okay 
um, to ungroup. Now that it's grouped together, when I click one or if I change one thing, I change it all. See how that happens. Now that it's one you, one family, once it's grouped together, when you change one thing, you change it all. Now just to get back to where I was, because I really didn't want to do that while it was grouped, but I did want to demonstrate how the group works. Once it's grouped, it's all one object now. So Control Z will take me back. So again, a Control Z on your keyboard is an undo. It takes me back. So now I'm back to where everything's grouped. Now I want to ungroup it. Let's say, for instance, I want to edit this graphic and change some things. I'm going to right click, of course you got to select it, right click, and now I have ungroup or ungroup all. So I'm going to ungroup all. And so now what I have is I'm able to choose these individual objects again and manipulate them however I see fit. So I can change the color, I can do whatever I want, uh, now that I've ungrouped it. Okay, so again, group and ungroup, simply right click and then left click on group and it becomes one item. Whoops, I left one out. So, undo, 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 and now again. Don't forget that your control Z will undo. So to group everything, I can click and drag, gather everything up, right click and group, and now what I have is one object. Or control Z all the way back. And now what I can do is do a control A, which grabs everything, which is control all, grabs everything on the page, control A, and then right click and group as well right click ungroup. So that's how it works. So I hope this video has helped. It's pretty basic information but I think it's very useful when you're just getting into Corel to know how these hot features work. So again my name is Vicki. I'm with Condi and thank you for your time.